last time we were with what are the different type of testing strategy planning and uh, okay so that the last time uh, can i audible audible to you yes ma'am hello uh, mukesh yes, akamshna ji ha ah, yes okay okay thank you mukesh Uh, so today we will discuss what are the other types of testing and uh, because uh, what actually my plan was uh, to show you how what are the different types of mutations but uh, uh, today uh, is not possible for me to show so i will discuss it in the next lecture but instead of that we cover the next part today uh, as uh, this is related to the testing part uh, different test approaches that is called as a methods major methods in software testing so uh, because the, the second unit actually what it covers how to write down the test cases test plan and okay and uh, then to the matrix that we had discussed but one one more aspects is there uh, that regarding the testing is the uh, test approaches okay so test approaches means these are the major methods for software testing sir so i'll share my screen just a bit uh okay so uh, today we will see what are the what is mean by uh, white box testing what is black box testing what is a gray box testing agile testing and uh, ad hoc testing so main difference of of the testing that we will see today okay which really helps to go in depth with the different type of testing so uh, what actually the attitude toward the testing that we have seen is the very important aspect for senior management or development people uh, project management toward a testing plan it helps to build the uh, model of the testing team actually uh, it can be initiated from test policy which is implemented down line through the test strategy to test planning so development and the test team they focus on ultimate objective of the achieving customer satisfaction now if we come with the uh, fichi the root analysis of very uh, any difficult problem if you go with the root analysis so we have to create the, uh, there may be a differences that get created between the development team and the testing team so that conflicts should be avoided so this conflict between the developer and the tester uh, that attitude is get to be a change okay so uh, these are the major uh, what we called as a major uh, Uh, here uh, look at here this is a code functional testing so these are the functional testing categories if you see that is a uh, unit testing and unit testing is divided into again a line coverage method coverage and the uh, red right part is a code path coverage so these are the different type of a testing of uh, code functional testing sanity smoke regression integration and usability all these are of a unit type of a testing okay these are the functionalities that we are going to check so we will see one by one so major aspects uh, is here the types of functional testing uh, you uh, that just i told you so we will see this in one by one but before going to that functional testing i'm just taking overview of white box testing because all of you know what is mean by white box what is mean by black box what is mean by a gray box what is agile and what is ad hoc so white box testing is also known as a clear box testing glass box testing Trans transparent box testing and structural testing. These are the different different names given for the white box testing because it is transparent. This is a method of testing where the software that tests internal structure or working of application, which is opposed to functionality. Okay, so internal part must be known to the tester. In white box testing, an internal perspective of the system as well as the programming skills are used to design the test cases. what are the approaches approaches in the test cases so white box testing designation uh, it requires the following code coverage category yeah? that is the control flow testing data flow testing branch testing statement coverage decision coverage then modified condition decision coverage prime path testing and path testing this is all related to your algorithm your code what exactly the code is because each and every part that is a decision means if the condition is true then where you have to take the uh, jump and if the condition is not false which statement is get get executed so internal structure must be known to the tester so the white box testing is very important it check every aspects of internal structure like flow control flow data flow branch statement coverage decision coverage then modified condition or decision coverage and prime path testing and path testing so this is the important aspects of white box testing 
now you know what is meant by a black box so again uh, there is no word because all of you know what it means by a black box so black box is nothing but it is the also known as domain testing or specification testing if you see white box is structural then black black box is the uh, this is the as per the requirement of a document which is defined by the bss this is business uh, business specification requirement okay which is to be defined by business analyst or customer so it will check only the uh, overview of that particular uh, test okay so it tests the executable system consisting of input output and the functionality which is defined in the spe uh, specification document so the testing is carried out as an independent database which is platform to ensure the proper working of system as per the uh, specification so uh, if you compare the white box with the uh, black box with the white box then we know that for black box there is no need of expert is required no there is no need to go in the detail so advantages of uh, what is the advantages and disadvantages of black box that that we will see uh, comparison with the gray box also okay so let us see uh, what exactly the statics testing and the uh, structural so statics testing is nothing but it is called as a black box and structural testing is called as a white box so uh, th these are the name you re must remember okay don't get confusion in between why mom you told that it is a black box but uh, you are telling it is a static box. so it is a static as well as a black so statics testing in the software technique which is a uh, in which the software is tested without executing the code and structural testing is also known as a glass box testing or white box testing which is an approach where the tests are derived from the knowledge of software structure or internal implementation uh, if you go to the statics testing so there are uh, if the review if you see the, then typically it is used to find and eliminate the error or ambiguities if there in is occur in the document or requirement specification that is to be tested uh, and the static analysis means the code written by the developers are analyzed usually by the tools uh, for the structural defects that may lead to the defect so ge general uh, review and static analysis is done in static testing but if you go in detail with the structural testing then it will cover age the what it will cover it cover the statements okay it cover the branch and it cover the path so this is a high important whenever you do the testing so most important uh, as is given to the white box testing if the white box testing is there means there is again uh, though there are advantages there is a disadvantages too so what disadvantages if you consider for white box testing is so white box consider as you know that uh, the advantage is that it is only a way to check whether the document procedures processes standards methods which is usually followed uh, for during the development it ensures the code standards which is used followed or not it sometimes uh, not done properly then it can be indicated and detected early some parts are verified only such as code complexity commenting reuse okay but uh, what what there is no assurance is given that the no assurance whether the customer requirements are met correctly or not so it will not provide give you the assurance for the customer code is not executed fully hence no guarantee about its proper working and if you see the test case uh, coverages this coverage the statement decision code path and the condition so you remember these four things and if you see with the static uh, testing then it will uh, check uh, the system is properly working or not so that difference also you can write down it can use to perform the uh, performance testing and security testing which is done by the uh, black box testing okay uh, in a black box we can test case design through the equivalent partitioning cause in effect graph use case method boundary value analysis then state transition testing is there error guessing is there okay that we can go uh, in detail if you want to see now come with the code functionality if you go in detail so this is the code functionality uh, functional testing is unit testing smoke testing sanity testing integration white black then user acceptance and the regression testing uh, can anyone uh, because last time we know that what is meant by unit testing what is meant by integration testing what is a user what is a regression what is a white box what is but uh, can you know what is meant by smoke testing and what is meant by sanity testing if uh, anyone know can you answer me what is meant by uh, sanity testing first and then smoke testing these are the functionality testing okay so what is meant by sanity testing
is anyone uh, can answer me यस पूर्वा राधिका ऋषिकेश पल्लवी पियुष ऑल ऑफ यू नो व्हाट इज मीन बाय रिक्रिएशन टेस्टिंग देन यू इजीली अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज मीन बाय सैनिटरी टेस्टिंग यस ऋषिकेश समर्थ आर यू देयर और जस्ट आई एम ओनली स्पीकिंग इन वन साइड यस प्रतीक ओंकार तनवी वैष्णवी वीना सोहम वॉट इज मीन बाय सैनिटी बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ यू नो वॉट इज मीन बाय रिग्रेशन सो सैनिटी टेस्टिंग इज अ पार्ट ऑफ रिग्रेशन टेस्टिंग और इट्स अ डिफरेंट यस आकांक्षा अजित एनी वन सबसेट ऑफ रिग्रेशन टेस्टिंग ओके पार्ट ऑफ सिल मीन्स यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एक्जैक्टली द सैनिटरी टेस्टिंग इज सैनिटरी टेस्टिंग इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ रिग्रेशन टेस्टिंग ओके वेन यू नो वॉट मीन वॉट इज मीन बाय रिग्रेशन टेस्ट इफ यू मेड एनी चेंजेस Uh, in your code, then uh, it also check whether it works properly or not after doing the changes. Uh, there are a lot of examples also for the sanitary testing where it get used. Sanitary testing. Uh, there may be a difference asked to you. What is meant by the sanitary testing versus your smoke testing? Okay. So, uh, so what is meant by smoke testing then? Smoke testing. Is anyone tell me what is meant by smoke testing? Yes, Shreya Gayatri Manas. used to detect defects in software okay preliminary testing yes okay so smoke testing means what it is uh, used to verify whether this is also called as uh, uh, acceptance near to the acceptance testing because uh, the smoke test is uh, is nothing but these are the subsets of the test cases which cover the most important functionality of your computer system so some, uh, if you see the difference in between so uh, if you are it will check uh, it will also detect the error okay that i got the answer from neha whether we are your program is working properly or not that that is it will check so uh, this if you go with the uh, coding that is the j unit testing we can learn there you can uh, do all these type of a testing in that okay uh, you have automation tool selenium also there you can perform this type of a testing and these are checking because these are the functionality testing and uh, where we can check whether the functional test exercise a complete program by giving the various input to the test and check whether it ex it execute properly or not so this type of a testing that we can see yes now okay we will continue with the uh, uh, different type of other testing parts you already know now next is what is the functional testing till now i am just using the word it check the functionality it checks the functionality but what exactly the functionality is so functional testing is a type of testing which verifies that the each function of the software application operates in conformance with the requirement specification for example you have a smartphone and you know that how it will work so the functionality is that the uh, whether you can navigate from one window to other window or how easily you uh, you can operate your phone so different type of a functionality that is camera is there audio is there recording is there so these functionality you are going to check that the prime objective of functionality testing is checking the functionalities of the software system so it mainly concentrate on main line of your function 
then base usability basic usability accessibility then air condi uh, error conditions so these are the main three parts basic usability accessibility and the error conditions so uh, functionality testing processes identify the test input that is test data compute the expected outcome with the selected tested uh, input values expected execute the test cases comparison of actual and expected result okay so these are the main motto of uh, functionality testing maybe sometimes what happen you are given a scenario okay different scenario is given to you and uh, the question is asked to you which functionality is a check in that particular scenario or uh, which functionality is there so this is very vast if you go in depth in detail okay you easily ki uh, understand in that now the next part comes what is mean by a gray testing gray box testing because i am giving a focus on that so we'll see this these are the different functionality testing but uh, uh, we are mainly focus we just discussing about the static and structural testing so there is one more test part this is called as a gray box testing so gray box testing is nothing but it is done on the basis of internal structure requirements design coding standards and guideline along with the functional and non functional requirement specifications so it combines both the verification and validation techniques if you use the gray box testing then it will help to ensure the correctness of your software both structurally as well as functionally so it combine the advantages of white box as well as black box testing and what is the disadvantages it will uh, need to be conducted using the tools so gray box testing we require the tool to uh, conduct the testing and the knowledge of usage of tool and configuration of the tool is required so gray testing is the tester has uh the tester has limited knowledge of the natural of the internal working of your application and also known as a you know, transient testing as a tester has limited knowledge of inside your application because it is combination of black and white it is performed by end user and also by the tester and the developer the white box testing is done normally by the testers and the developers and the black box testing is performed by end user and also by the testers and developers because this is also very important who is going to be uh, using uh, doing the uh, that type of a testing again one more thing uh, is the black box testing if you see so it is not suited for algorithm testing because if the algorithm is there then there must be a white box testing if algorithm is there then there is no suit for black box testing we are going to use for white box testing and the gray box gray box is also not suited for the algorithm testing uh, if we have a trial and error a trial and error method then only you go for black box testing if the data domains and internal boundaries can be better tested if you want to test the boundaries data domains then you go for white box testing and also you can do the gray box testing okay uh black box is very exhaustive okay uh, it is very time consuming but if you go for the white box testing it is also most exhaustive and time consuming and if you uh, go with the gray box then it is a partly time consuming and exhaustive testing uh if you see black box testing the testing is based on external expectation okay internal behavior the application is did not know so it only depending on the external expectation but if you go for white box then internal working is fully known to the tester so that uh, you have to design the test uh, data according to the internal design and the gray box testing is done on the basis of high level database diagrams and data flow diagrams okay the next uh, important thing uh, more is the agile testing okay because uh, this is not you are not going to be in depth with the agile testing because uh, agile testing is very uh, vast if you see okay if uh, agile testing is that then check whether there is agile testing or not okay these are the in depth is given okay white box okay so agile means it is a software testing process that follow the principles of agile software testing uh because it saves the time and money it is a continuous process rather than being sequential 
it begins at the start of the project and there is ongoing integration between the testing and development so common objective of agile development and testing is to achieve the high product quality so agile is iterative development methodology where the requirements involve through the collaboration between the customer and the self organizing team and the agile alliance development and the customer need uh, one more testing is there which is called as ad hoc testing okay so ad hoc testing is nothing but it is uh, defined as internal unstructured testing. Sorry, this is uh, informal unstructured testing and may aim is to break the system. The software testing uh, is the usually is unplanned activity. This does not follow any test design technique to create the test cases. So ad hoc testing is usually conducted by the tester who has strong knowledge of the software under the test. So regarding what it does and how it works, the testing is done by randomly creating the test cases through the error guessing and executing them. So without following any requirement, that's why it is called as an ad hoc testing. Uh, these are the general different types of a testing part uh, under given in your second, it is not too much and too depth. Okay. Uh, here some example is given. Let us see what example is given, uh, what to do and what it will verify in the white box testing. Okay. There are different types of white box testing. And statement coverage methodology means, means it designs the test cases so that every statement in the program executed at least once. So that is called as a statement coverage. Uh, unless statement is executed, we have no way of knowing if any error exists in the statement. So based on the observation, an error in the program cannot be observed. So unless the part of the program contain the error is executed. So observation is what? No guarantee that it will behave correctly at for the all input values so this is example for example consider a function f1 this two values passed x and y and what condition if the function f1 okay int uh, so this is a function okay int f1 and while x is not equal to y if x is greater than y then x is equal to x minus y and else y is equal to y minus x i will return so while x is not equal to y it will do again if condition and it will return the x okay in a function f1 there is a value now c that is by choosing the test case say it x is equal to 3 y is equal to 3 this is the same value if you put x and y here uh, in while condition x and y value is the same then what happened and what is my next state test set is data x is equal to 4 y is equal to 3 then i am given x as a 3 and y is equal to 4 so in this x is not equal to y so what i am going to check whether the two values are equal whether x is greater than y or y is greater than x so these three input test cases i am going to check all these statements are executed at least once okay so if you put substitute these values here i am going to check how it works so this is called as a uh, how we are going to check the statement by statement, correct? So uh, this type of a testing you can do while you go for the uh, manual testing, correct? The test cases which is designed is, uh, for example, branch, okay, true and false is values there. See one example of true and false. Same here, if x value is greater than y, because this branching is given. So test cases for this, x is equal to 3, y is equal to 3. I'm checking an x and y, same value. x is 3, y is equal to 2. x is greater than y is less, and x is equal to 3, y is equal to 4. All four values we are going to check here, uh, because uh, we are subtracting x is equal to x minus y, else y is equal to my, y minus y. Because I have a test coverage of these four test sets. Uh, conditional coverage if you go for both true and false values uh, for each c1 c2 c3 all are expected at least once so given value is true or false is c1 and c2 or c3 so you have to consider all three conditional expressions and uh, in a branch testing what you are going to check we'll see an example is there this is the two raised to power n test cases is required if you go for condition coverage this is a uh, coverage report okay this is an example how after doing your test cases uh, classes line coverage branch coverage complexity 
so this is an example of how you cover do the coverage report this is path coverage path coverage means you need to learn how to draw the control flow graph of the program so control flow graph means cfg okay sequence in which the different instruction of programs is get executed the how many how you control how to draw the control flow graph the number of statements in the program and numbered statements this is the sequence if while then uh, until and case execute this is called as a flow graph notification uh, actually this is not in your syllabus you don't go in detail uh, just understanding purpose i am giving this showing to you this example to you this is a control flow diagram all of you know how to know the diagrams this is a sequence sequence 1 is, is equal to 5 b is equal to this this is statement statement is given okay how to draw the control flow graph this is given how to draw it this is a path upper bound and uh, lower bound okay this is going in very detail we did not go in detail so cyclomatic complexity is there any example for path is given that i am checking okay uh, this is not important not 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 for your syllabus okay if you have a curiosity you want to go in a detail you can uh, learn it through uh, google it and you easily available all the answers of it uh, of the different type of a testing because testing part is very very vast but how much of your syllabus is given uh, i am focusing till on this part extra part i will cover it in the practical as well as if you are interested that we will learn you through with your mini project you will have if you done with your mini project first mini project you have a you get a gain a confidence that you are able to do the different type of a testing so you elaborate your the the testing concepts you can do practically in that instead of theoretical part if you go through learn uh, the j unit as well as the selenium okay and apply different type of a testing in that uh, how which type of a testing you apply which functionality you are going to test for your pro, uh, your system on that that is the main important part okay so uh, till now we have covered all the testing testing parts uh, what are the different type of testing what is the basic difference in that what is the agile testing and all that okay so we'll come with your uh, main ppt okay that we covered last time test policy test approach test plan that also see defect testing policy mutation i will cover part in the next lecture okay these are the challenges in our testing okay that also example when you just go go and read it you easily understand this part team approach and what problems they are faced by the peoples by the material machines method this is also applicable for your final year project also because what do you problems you are facing uh, due, due to uh, the situations in okay so the peoples user specifying requirements business analysis document requirement test manager uh, defined test plan tester defines test cases these are the problems we face material requirement document development standards guideline machines that simulators real time objects methods uh, planning defining test cases economy okay that is the main important aspect that is the cost these are the cost aspects okay mm, structural approach established test policy standard methods types of wastes waste uh, wrong development waste in testing to defect wastage as a wrong specification uh then we see the what is what is meant by the difference between defect error and mistake i think this you have uh, already know in a cpm what is the difference between uh, defect what is difference between the day error and the mistake what is meant by bug okay so this is a common uh, common type of defect arithmetic logical syntax multi threading interface and the performance this is uh, found error or mistake which is found by developer defect bug and fault which is found by detector and tester and the failure which is found by customer this is it true correct because if you uh, do your code then you found oh this is my mistake this is my error but if you sh show your code to your friend then he will found out the defects bugs and fault in your code and if you uh, submit it then uh, found it by the failure which is found by the customer So this is the main difference between these two. So mistake is also called as a error, okay, and the found which is called as a defect if it found by the tester. 
and uh, this is the sample test strategy templates is there so i will show the examples with you what are the strategy okay this diagram also you can remember this is a strategy uh, test development then test execution defect management and the delivery what the test, test strategy is uh, automation testing test schedule then resource planning this all can be done at the test strategy and uh, test development team what is the task is it uh, define the test plans it define the test scripts uh, test data which you are to provide uh, when you execute your test execution you found a defect test reports and test metrics then you go for defect management the bug tracking bug fixing bug verification and when you go to the delivery the installation of the testing then requirement verification so this is a main uh, testing strategy is there so this is the test plan okay how to write down the test plan because once you understand how to write down the test plan it's uh, easy for your uh, when you submit your uh, report then there you require the test reports also you can write down the test reports for your uh, implemented code okay that is required in the second semester not in this semester here is only literature survey uh, in your first semester for your project but if you go implemented your program then you require all type of a testing is there so what exactly the test plan is so it, it is analyze the product it design the strategy it define the objective define the criteria resource planning test environment schedule estimation then determine the test deliverables okay so this is a good software tester uh, verbal and written communication is required you must be a passionate technical skill is required analytical skill is required your attitude and the productivity so these are the main functionality how you become a good software tester okay so all these parts is required for a good tester and this is a general is not restricted that you write down these part you go in detail you must know the thorough knowledge of uh, basic knowledge of database sql basic knowledge of linux command you know the basic knowledge of hands on experience on test management tool basic knowledge of experience on how to go the defect tracking okay knowledge of hands on experience on automation tool these are the test skills are required in the test kit so these are the parts in the test you need to so if only uh, examples that we will solve how to write down the test plans and uh, next unit that i will start this is the third unit in the next lecture okay one new part is left that we will cover and then we go for the next unit so this is your up to second unit yeah uh, okay so here um, what i would like to ask you is that if you have any question you ask otherwise uh, i will stop sharing the screen Uh, one more thing uh, I would like to know is uh, there is an opportunity uh, uh, to do as a internship if you are, have a core knowledge of Linux or operating system. If you are interested, you just ping me, okay? Linux command and all that internal structure, that is a hardware knowledge is required. If this type of a knowledge, if you have, you have an interest in that, then uh, you can contact me okay so if you have any question you can ask me otherwise uh, we will conclude and thank you thank you everyone